In the name of Allah, the most beneficent and the most merciful. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Emilia Mamokwa. I'm from South Africa. I moved to the United States in 2007. Um, I was always intrigued. I've been living here for four years and something, there was something missing. I just didn't know what it was and I just started going to the mosque. And I was there every Friday, but I still had questions. There wasn't anybody in the mosque to like ask, like answer my questions because obviously everybody comes to Juma prayer and after that everybody, some people have to rush back to work. So I didn't really know who I can talk to. So I started doing some research, watching videos, and then I came, I was looking for Dawa centers close to my area and I came across the Y Islam Center. So I came in here and I had a nice long conversation with the sister and then I took my Shahada. And ever since then, Y Islam has been really helpful. Um, they offer Arabic classes online so you don't have to like come in every day. If you have like a really busy schedule, you can just log in. And they also offer um, start beginners classes for um, new Muslims, which has been really helpful. And they have a very a little of a it's like a family because when I found out that um, my father had passed away I actually called this place first and I came here and I spoke with the lady upstairs so they've been really helpful. I feel like a new person um it's definitely my life has changed a lot which has been good I obviously pray and that's been very very helpful especially after my father passed away I remember the first thing I did was I prayed and that like helped it was like a soothing, a comforting thing. That was the hard part because obviously, you know, my mom's Christian and she also has her other traditional beliefs. So she didn't really understand why I took it and why I became Muslim. But she's now eventually starting to understand. And I had told my dad, mashallah, before he passed away and he was just happy with it. He was always just about you have to pray. But my mom was hard to like let her know, you know, that because people, obviously, the first thing they're going to go is like, oh, it's a strict religion. Why would you do that? But, you know, every religion is strict. That's how I see it. I think the challenges that I faced after taking Shahada was I was always a little bit, um, how can I say, not confident when I'm saying like the Surah Al-Fatiha, like when you're doing the Salah and you're praying because you're like, oh my goodness, am I saying these words correctly? And then like, am I getting distracted? I hope it's, you know, correct. So I've, you know, those are the problems like, pronouncing the words correctly and making sure everything is the right way is like one of the problems that I've faced. But other than that, I think I've had a good support system. The website was kind of just a guide to say, okay, hey, come to Y Islam Center. And when I got here, that's when I, all the questions that I had to ask, you know, um, we spoke about it. But the books are definitely a good guide as well because there's um, a book, like a history book that they give you like stuff that was discovered in the Quran way before scientists even discovered, which I thought was really cool. So that stuff is also very helpful. The video is very good because the video starts off with a story about the Prophet Muhammad. So that helps you understand how he got the Quran. And then the video shows you a step-by-step -step way of how you should do the Salah, how to do Wudu, which is helpful because I think visual helps you instead of just reading it. It helps you to keep up to date with how you should do Salah and how you should do Wudu if ever you get lost. And then they also give you flashcards. So when you're praying, you can put the flashcards on the floor. And if you don't understand it, you can read until you finally get to memorize like the Surah Al-Fatiha. But until then, you have pictures right next to the flashcards to show you what you should do. So the visual helps a lot. I would, if you're like looking for information and not sure yet, I would say still look. But also it's like, for me personally, how I felt is like if you if you're sure about something and that's the path you want to follow, I think you should take your shahada and then follow the steps of being with people that are going to help you and guide you through it and stuff. Because if you are not, sh if you constantly like just looking, 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 you'll never fully understand. That's how I've always, how I feel about it. That's the very, it's, I've always, like, because I come from a country, South Africa, where we've had Muslims and you catch a, a, a train or a taxi with someone that's wearing a hijab and it's not a problem. But here in the United States, people stay. Even when I come back from Juma, people look at me and you're like, I'm not oppressed. You know, I'm not oppressed. I'm wearing this because I want to wear it. After taking my shahada though, then I noticed that, oh my goodness, a lot more things are happening that is not, 
you know, that is not right, that I feel is not right. I think everybody has the right to practice their religion. But, I mean, in America, I feel for some reason they don't give us Muslims enough freedom to practice our religion. It's like you always have, you like just can't say, oh my God, am I going to get stopped at the airport? Am I going to get stopped at this place? So it just makes you feel a little bit like worried. And after I took my Shahada, I read this article actually where there were, I guess, what happened in Newark with the Muslims in Newark. And I was like, that is not fair. Like these, you know, you have students that just want to be together and discuss you know, Islam, and then all of a sudden you can't really do that because you don't know if you're being watched or, you know, so it's very interesting, the dynamics. My response is that I think people have misinterpreted Islam because the more I study about it, it's the more I see that it actually is a peaceful religion. But people have misinterpreted what it really is about. People just are assuming without really knowing about the actual religion. So...